uh, the organization uh, uh, I represent. Addict, la organización um, que represento. It stands for... Um, There. It stands for Agency for the Development es of Agencia para el Desarrollo Agencia de para el Desenvolvimiento das Industrias Creativas. Industrias culturales um, but y creativas. Works very, very well, Pero Addict uh, es, as, es as muy uh, pegadizo um, como, so, como nombre. Um, It is a not for profit organization. Es una organización so, uh, sin ánimo de, de lucro. Entonces, in other countries, especially en comparación also in Spain, con otras organizaciones, por ejemplo, en España, están vinculadas a public, uh, funded, gobiernos uh, municipales uh, o estatales entities, o con dinero público, nature, pero uh, es privada, uh, profit, sin ánimo de lucro. Created, so it was created by so, uh, civil society, y la creó but, la sociedad civil. Big um, and, um, The idea uh, there uh, uh, was to try uh, to uh, use this potential that they know existed because this area is the most uh, um, demographically, it's the youngest area in the whole country. Uh, and we had, so the universities uh, were uh, um, educating uh, youngsters in, in all of the creative disciplines. We have strong schools in certain areas like architecture, even audiovisual, uh, digital technologies and media, um, so young, qualified professionals. Uh, we also had an industry decaying uh, with a recognized know-how, uh, especially traditional industry, uh, manufacturing, but uh, without uh, a, a brand, uh, without the input of creativity in the, in the, in the process. Uh, so therefore, they tried and thought it would be interesting to try to connect these young professionals Uh, with the industry uh, to try to come up uh, with, a with a renovation. We work in all these areas that are needed, uh, which means um, capacity building, um, assembling of information and dissemination of information and knowledge for the sector, uh, networking and cooperation and internationalization, try to internationalize the sector and the region, and also political uh, representation. Uh, to give a voice to the sector in all type of political forum in order for the, the specificities of the sector to be taken in consideration. When we talk about uh, uh, cultural cooperation and internationalization, the point is also about uh, capacity building. It immediately connects with capacity building uh, because uh, one needs uh, the right competences to be able to work uh, in the enlarged market, let's say in the wide market that can be the EU, where there's no frontiers. Actually, there's no frontiers uh, nowadays. When, when we are working locally uh, in Madrid, we are, in a way, working internationally. Uh, and this requires really different type of competences. The same type of competences, but to a much higher uh, degree of demand. Um, and it all uh, evolves around um, management <laughs> and communication. Of course, your, in this case, your artistic and creative competences are crucial. If you don't have them, forget it. But you also have to have associated type of competences, uh, otherwise you don't survive, and you don't survive long. While in the national local market, you might survive a bit longer, uh, in the international market, you don't. Um, there's also another uh, area, I would say, um, that uh, uh, is important uh, to, to be aware of when you work, uh, well, international, but also nationally nowadays. And it all comes as well from uh, technology and the digital means that really facilitate communication and interaction, um, is that nowadays um, um, we expect, funders expect, uh, to be able uh, to uh, participate more actively throughout the whole process. Uh, so, and, and so this is also new to most of the professionals in a way, even though many have got the will and the interest in, in making this communication. Um, spectators are not any longer spectators or passive uh, recipients of the final product or the final service, but instead uh, the whole creation process from the conception phase is expected to be participatory and the most possible. And this is more and more Uh, important for the funders because this means the market. Uh, so we need audiences for the for the for the products that we are developing. Uh, for the EU, it means building up the the common market. So that's the final aim of the funds. Um.